So where we left off last time was we had derived a constitutive equation or generalized Hooke's law and then just based on arguments of this, the fact that the stress tensor and the strain tensor are uh, symmetric and the fact that the order of differentiation of a strain energy functional, uh, through those arguments you can reduce the 81 constants to 21 and that's where we stop. So we had a matrix, uh, an elasticity matrix that had 21 constants and I, you know, our, our normal Hooke's law looks like this, right? Sigma ij, ij, kl, ij, right? But again, in this case, c would have 81 constants. Uh, you know, sigma and epsilon have nine entries each, right? But we can, since we can greatly reduce this, uh, and uh, actually maybe I should, this is going to be kind of a big matrix. We can write this a little simpler if we kind of switch from a tensor to a vector notation. So what I'm going to do here, let me just erase this. I'm going to pull out the unique entries of the stress and strain tensor and write them as a vector. So I'm going to say sigma 1, 1, sigma 2, 2, sigma 3, 3, Sigma 2, 3, sigma 3, 1, sigma 1, 2, right? So th these are the only unique entries in the stress tensor because of it's symmetric, right? So then we have C1, 1, one. then this is going to take a while to write out. And that multiplies strain like this. This is actually two, D two, three. Two, E three one, two, E one two, and this side is symmetric. Okay, so everybody know what I mean. I, I'm not going to write all those entries, but they're just they're just the symmetric part. So this. If we re rewrite this equation using only the unique entries, this is what we get. Right? And there's 21, there's 21 independent constants. So all of the ones on the diagonal and above it are independent. Right? And this is called a this type of material is called a triclinic material. <coughs> and thankfully, there aren't too many of those because I wouldn't want to do the experiments to populate that guy. All right. Does everybody have that written down? Let's take a notes. 